Hey, what's up everyone? Easy Earl here. So today we are going to discuss which is better. Is it gonna be Wix or Adobe Dreamweaver? Let's begin. So comparing Wix and Adobe Dreamweaver involves contrasting a website builder with a web development software. So we are here to break down all the pros and cons for each platform. So Matter of fact, we have a separate video if you want to check our channel against Wix versus Adobe Portfolio. Please check with that on our channel. You might want to see some more information. But for those who haven't seen it yet, Wix is incredibly user-friendly, featuring a drag-and-drop interface that allows users with no coding experience to create a professional-looking website easily. Okay. Now, it also offers a vast collection of templates across various industries and styles. And these templates are customizable, allowing users to personalize their websites according to their needs. Now, Adobe doesn't give all of that, but it caters to both beginners and experienced developers. Its visual interface helps beginners design websites without extensive coding knowledge, while its robust code editor appeals to seasoned developers for coding-intensive projects. It offers a powerful code editor with features like syntax highlighting, auto-completion, and code validation. It also aids developers in writing and managing code efficiently. Now, moving forward, Wix provides extensive design flexibility, meaning you can customize layouts, fonts, colors, and more, giving you a high level of control over the appearance of your site. Wix has an app market that offers numerous apps and integrations for additional functionalities such as e-commerce, bookings, forums, analytics, and more. And these apps can enhance your website's capabilities. Now, in terms of Adobe Dreamweaver, the live preview feature allows users to see immediate visual changes in real time as they code or make alterations. Now, this helps in fine-tuning the design and functionality. Seamless integration with other Adobe tools like Photoshop and Illustrator allows for a smoother workflow, especially for designers who work across various Adobe software. Now, if you ask me, I'm a fan of both. I'm using Adobe Dreamweaver and Wix, so uh, they have their own strengths. Now, moving forward, of course, not all platforms are perfect. We are here to discuss the cons for each. Now, Wix offers a lot of design flexibility. However, for users seeking highly specialized or intricate design modifications, it might have limitations. Advanced users might find certain customization options restrictive compared to more open platforms. Although Wix has a vast array of templates, once you've chosen a template and started building your site, it can be challenging to switch to a different template without rebuilding a significant portion of your website. Additionally, the templates can sometimes feel a bit rigid in terms of layout. Now we switch over to Adobe Dreamweaver. For absolute beginners, especially those with no coding background, Dreamweaver might have a steep learning curve. It's a comprehensive tool and mastering its features may take some time. The integration with other Adobe software can be seen as both a pros and cons. Alright, so I feel uh, the same thing as well. Now, if you're not using other Adobe tools, Dreamweaver's integration might not be as beneficial. Alright, moving along. While Wix offers e-commerce functionalities, it might not be as robust or customizable compared to dedicated e-commerce platforms like Shopify or WooCommerce, and this might be limiting for businesses with extensive online selling needs. In some cases, websites built on Wix might experience slower loading times, especially if the site is heavily customized with many plugins or high-resolution images. Now, for Adobe Dreamweaver, though, being part of Adobe suite of software, Dreamweaver's cost might be a factor for individuals or small, smaller businesses, especially when compared to other web development tools that offer more budget-friendly options. Now, Dreamweaver might be resource-intensive on some systems, leading to a slower performance, especially when handling larger or complex projects. All right? Okay, so I've mentioned earlier that I'm a fan and a user of both. Now, if you ask me, Easy Earl, Wix is better suited for beginners or those who prefer a visual interface, all right? 
because Wix sacrifices some control for ease of use and convenience. Now, on the other hand, Dreamweaver offers a more control over the coding, right? And the website's um, design, but it involves more technical expertise, all right? So if you are leaning towards technical expertise, I believe Dreamweaver is the right software or platform for you, right? So ultimately, the choice between Wix and Dreamweaver depends on your skill level, preferences, let's say goals and budget as well, and the level of control and customization you require for your website, for your business, or for your platform, all right? And that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have suggested topics for us, like a comparison video, let us know in the comments below. And we will see you again in the next one.